Where's that file at? Where is it? I worked on that for hours. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Ugh. Have you ever had that happen to you when you've been doing designing in the Vectric software for quite a while and your computer quits on you for whatever reason and you go back in to start working on your project again after you get your computer restarted and you can't find it? It's because it's not there. And the reason it's not there is because the project hasn't been saved. And one of the things that's more frustrating than anything else is after you've worked on a project for hours and your computer dies and you go back and it's not there. Many computer programs have something called an autosave feature where it'll just automatically save your project every five, 10 minutes, whatever it might be. So you have a starting point that you can go back to. But some software does not have that autosave feature and Vectric is one of them. And the problem with that is if you have not saved your project going into it and periodically then if your computer dies on you for whatever reason that project is not updated. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to teach you exactly what to do, a habit to get into when you're doing your design work in the Vectric software to make sure that your project is saved and about as up to date as it can be where you've been working on it in the event and sometime inevitably will happen to you where the computer will quit or the program will shut down whatever it may be I want to get you into this habit so you don't run into that frustration so we're going to talk about the save feature in Vectric and what you should be doing from the get-go whenever you start into a project and then in the second part of this video I'm going to talk about something that I don't think anybody talks about which is updating your software for the patches that are created for it. Every software that is released, doesn't matter, Des uh, design software, Microsoft Word, whatever it might be, inevitably has little bugs in it that have to be fixed. And so the developers of the software go in and they create what they call patches. And then sometimes the software will auto update in Vectrix case, they don't have an auto update feature for those patches, so we have to do it ourselves. It's very easy to do, but it's something you want to do on a periodic basis, like once a month. So in the second part of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do the update to get the patches into your software on a consistent, regular basis, maybe every once every month. So we're going to jump into the Vectric software right now, and I'm going to talk to you about the save feature and the habit you should get into, and then we're going to go into the update for the bugs and fixes that Vectric will inevitably be putting out. So let's get into this. Now we're in the Vectric software and for clarity purposes I am using VCarve Pro. What I'm about to show you works in all the Vectric variations Cut 2D, VCarve, and Aspire. So when we open up a job we come to this screen here where you see on the left is the job setup area. This is where you'll set up the project size. For example, the size of your piece of wood that you're gonna actually be setting up on your CNC router. We're not gonna bother with this right now. I have other videos out there that will tell you how to set this up. And this is about saving projects anyway. So I'm just simply going to click the OK button. And now we are ready to start designing. Now, if you notice right up at the top, at the very top line, it says VCarve Pro, whatever version you have, and it has your name, mine is Garrett Frommy, and then in parentheses, it says new, which means that's a new project that we have just created. The very first thing you want to do whenever you're creating a project is to save it. And you can do it in one of two ways. The first is you have the words up in the top where it says file, edit, model, machine, etc. You can go to the file word, click that, and a drop down will open up. And you can click the save button right here, and it'll open up into a directory in the way I'm going to show you in the second way you can save. So I'm simply going to click off of here into here to get rid of that menu. 
And you see now up in file operations, there are some buttons up here. And one of them is a floppy disk button. When you hover over it, it says save dash saved the current file. This is the faster way to save projects rather than going up to the file drop down menu up in the upper left corner where you have to click here and then you have to come down to select the right item. Rather, simply just click this button right here, the save button. And when you do it the first time, it's going to open up into a directory just like this. And this is where you place the projects that you want to save your files to. So you want to find the right directory. And you can see I've already created a directory that says CNC right here. And then I have other things going on. So we're simply going to set the name of this project. Now I'm going to call this test and click the save button. And then I'm gonna start designing. At this point, you have set the foundation for your project from the get-go. Now we do our design work. So we'll put in a couple circles and a couple rectangles. And I have this beautiful sign that I'm creating now. Let's fix that so we have cornered rectangles. There we go. Close that, throw in a couple of stars, and this would certainly come out to be an interesting project. <clears throat> so we're gonna close that, and let's just say this is your project, you've been working on it for oh, about 10 minutes now, and, and you're getting your basics set up, and you've already put some mental energy into it, you wanna save the project. And all you have to do is come up to this same icon, the save, button and click it. And Vectric will update that file to what you have right now. About every 10 minutes, just get in the habit of clicking this save button. And in the event, if your computer shuts down, you will have this thing saved to a certain point where if, it's, if you didn't do that, where you would have lost the file and been all frustrated, this way you would have saved yourself the double frustration of a computer shutting down on you and losing your project at the same time. Now you understand how to save your project. Please, please, please get into this habit because at some point your computer will shut down on you for whatever reason and if you haven't saved it, you won't have it and you'll get as frustrated as I showed you how frustrated I was in the beginning. Now we're going to get into teaching you how to update the software for all the patches and fixes that they inevitably have to do. Before I do that, if I'm giving you a helpful tip here, please take a minute to give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Both of those help the videos that I create for you rank up there, especially if you think I'm helping you, it'll help other people as well. Comments, I love to see comments, thoughts things that I've missed in videos. So if I've missed something so far, please put it down below. Now we're gonna get back into the Vectric software and I'm gonna teach you how to do the update periodically to get those patches and fixes imported into your software. It's very easy, just you have to remember it every once in a while. So let's get back into the Vectric and do that. Now remember, Vectric does not have an auto update feature to insert the patches and fixes automatically. So in order to update the software about once a month, what you want to do is come up to the help button at the top of the menu. Select that and all the way down at the bottom, the second from the last selection says check for updates. Select that and your computer is going to ask you if you need to or you want to give the computer permission to run this feature you wanna click yes. The menu that pops up does not show up on the screen right here because that menu is the Windows operating system asking you if you want to run the program that it's about to run. So you will have this where you have an option to say yes or no. You just want to click yes. And a window is going to open up and it says check for an update with the Vectric little screen here. And all you do is click the next button down below. And Vectric will 
ask you to sign in if you are not signed into the Vectric online. If you are, it'll automatically check and then it'll come back with corrections that need to be made or the fixes and it'll be listed out here. And if there are fixes, the next button right here will be accessible to you. You can see it's grayed out for me, which means I am currently up to date and it says so right here. So just follow the instructions from there and your software will update with the patches. Sometimes you have to shut it down after the patches are updated, but it will tell you so. And when you're all done, you'll come back to the screen and you simply close that window and you are ready to rock and roll with your designs. Now you know the importance of saving your work and how to update your software for the patches that Vectric will inevitably put out. If this video is helpful, please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel because I teach you all about the design software, CNC routers like our long mill CNC router here, and a whole lot more. With that, happy designing, happy CNC, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. I'll talk to you next time.